a few years from now, you won't remember what it cost, but the memories you made. During ancient times, we used to worship in shrines. We used to worship under Mogumo tree, the sycamore tree. Those times, uh, we used to, to live in a very peaceful continent. People are not fighting each other. At those times, you could share with your neighbors. We never had divisions. We never had boundaries. But as a result of civilization, you guys, what you call civilization in courts, I still see it's in courts. You guys introduced boundaries, and that's how the division came about. That's what bring our differences between communities. So in, in current times, you can occupy someone's space and I expect everything to be okay as usual. You can never uh, be in a, in, in a challenging situation and expect your neighbor to help you. So that's a cave. Probably that's where the guy was filming yesterday with. Maybe he lives there. The plan today was to come and look for him. I don't know whether I'm going to meet him or not. But whether I meet him or not, I still have to do what I do. I still have to post my question. So, this is Mogumo tree, the Saikamo tree, where people used to worship from. I have to take you back in time. So for the millennials and the Gen Z's, you here to learn. Anytime you see me, please sit down, relax, then pay attention. During the, I remember at times when uh, we could send the most elderly person in our <laughs> in our village to go represent us in, in, in the shrines. So it came a time when uh, the community was supposed to go um, to worship, to, to give thanks, remember? Giving thanks. What in, in uh, what lately you call tithing, yeah? So we could give them uh, animals for burnt sacrifice. We used to give them uh, fast harvest. And uh, guess what? They used to go with all that to the shrine. Whatever was to be burnt, they burn and leave it. They used to cut, we give them goats or um, what it, what, a sheep. So they could go, slaughter it, then leave it there. Still we have uh, those uh, like maize, what we call corn, beans, yeah? They leave everything there and they trust that the ancestors gonna come and pick at night. They trust that our ancestors of the dead, they became angels. These people are gods. So they're going to come and pick uh, what they left there. I really don't know whether that was true. But we used to respect temples. Is it temples? Yeah, the shrines. We used to respect them so much. And uh, it's so unfortunate that uh, we were given some notion that, notion of mentality that you're supposed to fear, not even respecting, you're supposed to fear shrines. You're not supposed to cut any tree from a shrine. You're not supposed to eat anything from a shrine. Lately, I see people eating. Uh, <laughs> or partaking uh, something illegal or eating uh, sacrifices in uh, different worship centers and they really don't care about it. In relation to that, we are having voodoo ceremony in Haiti. The Caribbean is so much appreciating um, the ancient ways of worship in Africa. 
Remember my words still. Caribbean people are so much Africans than the Africa ourselves. The people living in Africa, we're forgetting our culture. Those people in the Caribbean, they so much appreciate our culture. And I'll never stop telling you the truth. So I've been watching Tigress, African Tigress, attending uh, the voodoo ceremony in Haiti. And uh, what those guys are doing, that's the exact way Africans used to behave. When it's time to, for harvest, people could gather, celebrate together, <coughs> sorry, share with each other. Yeah. Pro pro probably I made some noise uh, below the shrine. That's why <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm being choked. So I'm choking myself. But then we used to respect shrines. Anytime you see a shrine, people could walk silently. You never wanted to make a noise because you're waking up the gods. Now, voodoo ceremony in Haiti. You can tell how people respect their God. So, how some, I saw someone uh, talk about the powers they have. Yeah. In Africa, we have changed to believing that having powers, that is witchcraft. Yeah, we don't believe that can be given by your creator, your God. So much love, our, our Caribbean brothers. I don't know, do we have voodoo ceremony in Trinidad, Jamaica, Antigua, Bahamas, all those countries, yeah? Grenada But they are having amazing support from Grenada, Trinidad, Jamaica, Bahamas, Antigua So if you support me, I must recognize you as well Yeah, St. Kitts and Nevis These guys have been following me, they have been supporting me more than my own brothers in Africa, in Kenya And I don't know, Kenyans, we need to talk we need to talk, Kenyans. Why is it that you don't support your own? Why is it that we get amazing love um, across the world and not our own country? Why is it that you don't appreciate all this? Our people always promise to visit Africa and they enjoy this nature. They never get the opportunity to see such kind of a nature. For Kenyans, we have all this. We have national parks, very good national parks. Masai Mara, but what happens when you go there? You find foreigners. Kenyans have never been there. We have the, one of the biggest game parks at the city center, Nairobi Game Park, Nairobi National Park. But we, are, we still have someone living inside the city, yet the game park is at the city centre and they never find time to visit their game park. Start appreciating what you are. Meanwhile, remember I came here with security yesterday, but today I chose to do it alone. Just wanted to prove that the place is peaceful. I know someone was worried about my safety coming to this point. And do you remember, even myself, the time I was starting uh, the trip to this point, I call in my cousin Harriet, then I had to tell her that just in case something happens to me, please communicate to the family, tell them I did this and this. And that's why, unfortunately, I never made it, but I made it. I made it. Wow.
We are so much blessed by them as Africans. I not see such kind of streams. We have people who normally watch them from the movie yeah? and you think someone animated it. Someone created by so using technology, yeah? Someone used AI to create this. No. This is real. This is real. I need to wash my hands. Hoping that the camera won't fall. Kavola, Kavola, Kamengele. When I was not my tongue, I never had So today I thought, why? I thought of being rugged. Yeah? Just to behave the same way the people around this area behave. The way this guy was dressed, I thought, why not dress like him? And you would think, like, he'd be like, oh, this guy is one of us. And you know, when you are dressed like this and they start a fight, or you have a confrontation. You were able to engage them as well. But imagine you having your jeans, your go shoes, and that the fight extends to the stream, to the waters. You can't fight back. Wow. I want you to leave a comment. Where are you watching from? And how do you find this nature? How do you find this part of Africa? It's unfortunate that I was looking for that guy. For the guy living in the caves. But... He seems not to be around today. I don't know where he went to. Probably. You remember he shared some sugar cane with me. So I thought, why not buy for him today? Instead of letting him from the community and then let me take some good shots some good shots so instead of letting him Stay from the community. I thought I should buy for him. Probably I buy several for him to keep under the caves. Yeah. So I'm more alone at this point. Anytime we have risk, my instincts always tell me. <laughs> my ancestors always work with me. They always protect me. My God always protects me. So I always feel by they. You, you, you always feel um, some uh, signs of danger. What are the signs of danger? Yeah, you feel that danger. You, you, you sense something bad is about to happen, to happen. But today I feel so much settled. I'm so much relaxed. So I'm back, I'm going back. The good sounds of the water and some birds singing around this area. It feels good.
No, what you do at the moment might be costly. Might be, might be costly, either monetary or your life, your energy. But the time is coming. You, will you look back and celebrate what you made. The difference you made in the society. How you appreciate Africa when no one else appreciated this? Wow. So until you film at the city is when you get to understand the nature you have, the good nature, the good weather you have, somewhere without industries, somewhere without any form of pollution, somewhere peaceful. Yeah, you know, at the city you were worried somewhere might snatch your camera. So you worried about the pollution, you might fall, fall uh, into the, what do you call it, the sewage, all that. Still you have that person in the city complaining, why are you filming me? These people are your fellow Africans, they are your brothers and sisters, but they don't like it when uh, you're doing all of this. You tell them, oh, I'm showcasing Africa to the world. You're showcasing Africa to the world? Who's paying you? Must you get paid for you to showcase Africa? Wow. Watching Africa Tigers filming the voodoo ceremony in, in Haiti. Then ev everyone is so positive about the camera. No one is complaining why they are getting filmed. That sinks deep that we need to change we need to adopt we need to get uh, modernized we need to appreciate our own continent we, are, we need to appreciate what our brothers and sisters are doing out here we don't need to attack anyone but they have been beaten like twice for filming for showcasing my own continent wow getting to some points and getting discriminated I, s I, I will never tire of talking about a Kenya wildlife service ranger discriminate, discriminated me together with uh, Tim Obama and family at uh, Kilaguni in Savo National Park so on this day we were walking together with some Asians they didn't know the influence Obama had in the community, in the, in the, in the country. So, openly, this guy chose not to work with us. They chose not to give us any direction, not to show us nothing. Yeah? They could allow the Indians to do some recording. Whenever I take out my camera to record, the guy be like, don't record me. Why is he saying so? Because I'm black, just like him. I still hope to get to that point and I will let them know how, what they did. So at the end of the trip, Obama told me, uh, go take the, some money, uh, give to these guys. <laughs> I asked Obama what for. So I took a bundle of cash then removed some 500 that's about five dollars and i gave them to divide among themselves remember what obama wanted to do is to give a thousand bob each ten dollars each but i ended i ended up giving them only 500 to, to divide between themselves I feel I, I need to appreciate what, whoever appreciates me. I don't need to give you money simply because you are in position. No. You don't know my position in the site as well. 
Meanwhile, Karibu Africa. Welcome to Africa. Kalusini, Tuesa Nia Wendo. Our forefathers who used to go to dates in the river bank. So that's how they came up uh, about that song. At Kalusini, Kalusini, Tuesa Nia Wendo. Yeah, we used to make. To, to, you say making out? Yeah, they used to make out with their girls. Yeah, our grandmothers and our grandfathers, they used to come to the river bank. That's where they used to seduce, used to reduce each other from. When they fetching water, at, the, at those times we never had uh, boreholes. We never had wells. We never had uh, taps at our homes. So they could come to places like these ones. And that's how we came to be born. <laughs> So anyone watching me from Kenya or East Africa, I want you to comment whether we have voodoo, voodoo ceremony in East Africa, then I will gladly attend. I will gladly attend. I want to either be Ethiopia, Somalia, uh, Tanzania, Uganda, Kenya, Congo, Burundi, Rwanda. Yeah, I will attend for the ceremony if it's there. So come in. And I will appreciate so much if you offer to take me around when I come to your country. you enjoyed my video you enjoy this vlog my name is Gossi Africa I'm a youtuber and a traveler based in Kenya Africa have a goodbye